Good morning, Hornets. It's a wonderful Wednesday here at VCHS. We're your hosts, Alyssa. And I'm Nadia. Let's start off with today's lunch. Today for lunch, we have fajita chicken salad, Mexican beans, steamed corn, the yeast tomato, banana, churros, and cold milk. Why don't we look at today's holidays? Let's take a green glance at our top five news stories of the day with Jasmine. Hi, I'm Jasmine Conway, and these are your top five morning announcements. Number one, new Hunger Games movie trailer premieres ahead of November release date. Number two, Colorado sells out season tickets for the first time in school history. Number three, Burger King plans to close 400 locations nationwide. Number four, a depression area $10,000 bill recently sold for $480,000. Number five, a second spotless giraffe has been spotted on a wildlife reserve in Nambia. Next, here's Wednesday's word of the day. This week's word of the week is emulate. Match or surpass a person or achievement, typically by imitation. Need a quiet place to study? Come to after school tutoring in the library today from school for some help from your teachers. Next up is character guessing with Kayla. Today we are asking the Hornets, what character is this? What is your name? Brooklyn. And who is this character? Snoopy. What is your name? Elise Heilman. And who is this character? Scar. What is your name? Finn Denton. And who is this character? Dirty Dan. What is your name? Lana Hingy. And who is this character? Will Smith. Hornets, look out for college visits during your lunch period today. At lunch, we'll be having WSU, and tomorrow, the U.S. Navy is visiting. What do you want to do after high school? Probably something in the medical field. Why don't we look at what some students have to say here at VCHS? So, uh, sadly, my name is Jared Noble. Mason's making me do this, but... What I'm going to do after school is I am legit just going to move to Texas, and that's it. Uh, I'm Joel Morales, and I'm going to be an electrician after I grow up, after high school. Uh, this is Hunter Johnson, and what I want to do after high school is either be a welder, or be going to construction, or mechanic, or farmer. So, what are you going to do after high school? Thank you so much. Here is this or that with Brayden. Hi, I'm here with Daisy. Uh, do you like lemonade or apple cider? What's up? My name is Lana Hinky, and if I was to if I was to choose uh, apple cider vinegar or lemonade, I choose lemonade because like apple cider vinegar is you know overrated. Today I'm here with. Javier, and would you rather apple cider or lemonade? <laughs> lemonade. Okay. And here is Jasmine again with today's weather. Fall weather is almost here. Today's high will be 89 and the low will be 63. Now for a quick blast in the past, let's wrap it up with this day in history. Stay classy, VC. September 27th, 1964. The Warren Commission wraps up its investigation into the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Its report concludes Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in killing Kennedy and wounding Texas Governor John Conley the previous year. But the findings fail to convince many Americans. Doubts and conspiracy theories about the tragic events in Dallas persist to this day. 1996. Rise of the Taliban as the hardline religious militia captures Afghanistan's capital, Kabul. The Taliban installs a repressive Islamic regime, opening the country's doors to Osama bin Laden. In 2001, after the September 11th attacks, U.S.-led forces oust the Taliban, which lives on as an insurgency. 1825. In Britain, engineer George Stevenson drives the first locomotive to haul a passenger train. And 1954. Birth of a late-night legend as The Tonight Show debuts on NBC. 
Steve Allen is the first host, followed over the years by Jack Parr, Johnny Carson, and Jay Leno. You know, decide in about a week what you think about it. It'll, you know, it's not gonna. It's not a spectacular. It's uh, it's gonna be kind of a monotonous, I think. Today in history, September 27th, Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.